Okay, Top Gun Maverick is now available on digital, so strap in, crank up that Kenny Loggins, because we're covering some Easter eggs and callbacks to the original film you may have missed. First up, we get shots of an aircraft carrier with jets preparing to take off, accompanied by the same iconic score from the original. And Kenny Loggins kicks in with some sick guitar licks to let you know there's going to be a lot of callbacks here. The opening text is actually updated this time around to include and women in Top Gun. Maverick is seen working on this P-51 Mustang propeller plane, which is actually Tom Cruise's own plane in real life. Miles Teller's Bradley Bradshaw lives up to his father's call sign by being Rooster, much like his father's being Goose. He also has the same familiar Hawaiian shirt and aviators combo while singing Great Balls of Fire, much like Goose did in the original. He even quotes his father later in the film saying, Come on Mav, do some of that pilot sh**. Hangman and the other students throwing out Maverick from the bar only to see him as the instructor the next morning is embarrassingly similar to Maverick's sweet attempt at serenading the instructor Charlie in the first film. The mandatory shirtless people on the beach playing sports scene is very much present, this time playing football instead of volleyball. Maverick's stunts of flying inverted to taunt the enemy MiGs are very much shown once again, and him buzzing the tower stunt never gets old. And all of Top Gun Maverick was actually foreshadowed at the ending of the 1986 film with this conversation with Commander Stinger. Where do you think you want to go? I thought of being an instructor, sir. Top Gun? <laughs> yes, sir. God help us. <laughs> Anyway, what did you think of Top Gun Maverick? Is it better than the original? And also, don't forget to subscribe for more Easter egg and breakdown videos like this every day.